Our buildings alter the face of the earth. We shape the world around us. The construction industry has a huge ecological footprint. Cement is responsible for 14% of all carbon dioxide emissions in the world. What if we designed the spaces we occupy with both beauty and ecology in mind? Seeking ways to create beauty and comfort without costing the earth, natural building techniques address these questions through practice. Natural building techniques include straw bale, cob, adobe, rammed earth and timber framing, to name a few. Current mainstream practices favour capital and speed over creativity and placemaking, with little regard to the well-being of people and the planet. Natural architecture is one such response to living with the land. It's probably the most ancient building techniques that are around that people have been using for millennia, because they're using materials that grow from our planet and from the earth under our feet. So it's actually a really simple type of building. And with that comes some people's perception that it's backwards. But actually we're, we're part of this recycling of ideas which aren't new at all, but we're thinking that perhaps they are more valid than some of the ones that we're being surrounded by. So we're really trying to talk about putting a choice back into the equation so that we have a choice other than metal and steel and fabricated materials. The sorts of materials and the ways that we're using them, we're not inventing them from scratch. These are ways that people have built with for thousands of years. In fact, more people still live in earth houses than in any other type of house in, throughout the world. But we've sort of forgotten that. We've sort of got brainwashed by modern materials, which we thought could do miracle things. And now, as, as those modern materials are getting older, we're realising the problems that there are with them, whereas these materials, they've been used for so long. We know what they do, we know what we can do, what we can't do with them, and how to make them work. This is a rammed earth wall. It's 50 tonnes of densely compacted subsoil. It's 10% clay and 90% sand and stones. Earth building is everything from structures. This is a structural wall. It holds up its own weight, which is 50 tonnes, and the roof that sits on top of it. Uh, all the way through to kind of decorative plaster finishes. So natural building materials, typically you're using materials in a, in a much more basic state. You're not heating them up to these very high temperatures. You're not using fossil fuels to change their chemistry. You're using the chemistry of the materials themselves to, met, to build structures. And you can build quite sophisticated structures. The Great Wall of China is two, two and a half thousand years old. It's made out of rammed earth. And it's just the clay mineralogy which holds it in shape. Mud architecture comes under many forms. Bricks and rammed earth is just some of them. And cob is a more of a fluid form of that. And comes uh, in different countries, they have different styles of cob making. Well, cob is just sticky clay, which occurs naturally all over the planet in most places in the subsoil. So the clay sticks together aggregate, which is sand and minerals, which are also naturally occurring, which have arrived in that state over millennia of being ground down to tiny pieces by glaciers or natural processes. And then we use straw particularly, but people would have used bracken or any kind of fibrous material around to give that tensile strength so that it was able to stay in one place and had some flexibility. Everybody has some idea about how to build with cob mud pies is usually the beginning and then we just get more refined as we become older. I've been doing straw bale building for 20 years or so and I just am so excited about building with it even now and it's why I like it is because it's so easy and quick to build with it's a monolithic thing it's it's those bales that come out of the, the field they're about a meter long and they put them together like giant bricks they are structurally strong so you don't need a framework they're very insulating so you get a U-value when they're plastered of 0.11 and you can put natural plasters directly onto them. So lime on the outside generally and clay on the inside. They're just such a wonder to work with. The UK has got a wide range of different geologies and that's led over our history, people using a whole range of different families of earth structures. So making earth into bricks, making earth as monolithic walls either with cob or with rammed earth, making timber walls with, with plastered finishes or daubed finishes as it's called. We've got a really rich history of building and there's thousands, tens of thousands of earth buildings in this country. Buildings made from natural materials are very organic 
and they're, they're appealing to people. So you do get people drawn from all walks of life and people want to be involved in it and they create very beautiful buildings without a huge amount of professional skill because they're very forgiving these materials so you can work with them until you get them right. It's not as if you've got half an hour and that's it, it's finished. And people do fall in love with their own buildings and you get incredibly creative self-build uh, finishes with alcoves and niches and coloured plasters and different surfaces uh, because, you, because you can. It's just fantastic. So I'm very happy to be alive now and I definitely feel like I'm part of a global movement and we're all waking up to this. And it's not an instead of, it's as well as everything else.